Hello and welcome to my fourth tutorial. This tutorial was inspired by a post on the New Blue Effects user forum. The post questioned why, when saving a title template to the library, title assets didn't seem to be saved along with the template. By title assets, I mean image or video elements of a title that are imported to supplement inbuilt elements when creating a title. Now, I had come across at least one custom title template in my library that didn't display an image where it should have done. The template icon in the library pane showed the image but the actual title didn't. I had previously dismissed this as something I would sort out later, but never got round to it. Strangely enough, other titles that had graphical elements in it displayed correctly, and initially I couldn't figure out why. The forum posts spurred me into action. My curiosity had been activated, so I investigated. I would like to thank Christoph, the originator of the post, for metaphorically kicking me into action. In this video, I'll describe my findings. For the purpose of this video, I'll be using Title Pro standalone. First, I shall open the library pane and F4 will open that up. Now, the template I'm looking for is in my main titles, it's a custom folder. I'll open that up. These are titles that I've either saved from the standard titles or that I've created myself. Now the template I'm interested in is this one. If I just don't hover my mouse over that, you can see that the image doesn't appear. I'll just double click that. There should be an image of an eagle here, and there isn't. Now the reason that image doesn't show, if I pull this down and that down and go to Object, Select where the image should be, and you can see that the Object Selection panel has got a question mark. That's telling me that Title Pro 7 doesn't know where that object is stored. If I hover my mouse over here, it shows the full path that Title Pro 7 thinks that object is located. Now, once I saw that, I realized that the reason it can't locate that is because that original path doesn't exist anymore. The project I created, which included this title, has been archived. I archived it to a separate hard drive. This has broken the link between Title Pro 7 and the object. Now I'll load in a title where the graphic does show. I'll change this to Project Templates. Let's lift that up a bit again. Go into My Main Titles and we'll see this one here. The graphic at the top does show. So if I double click that didn't double click it, double click that and select the object which is this one. Go to the panel in the object style section and you can see that that is showing the graphic. 
hover over the path and you'll see that that is where that graphic is stored. And the reason that it is showing is because that folder is a fixed location folder. It hasn't been moved, it hasn't been deleted, so the link is still valid. Now to prevent the problem happening, a good workflow would be to create a folder in a fixed location where it's unlikely to be deleted or moved and store the graphic that you're going to use in the title before you store that title in the library. That way the link will be maintained for whenever you use that graphic, sorry, whenever you use that title from the library. Now I'm going to open the template that doesn't show the graphic again, which is this one. The graphic should be there. Now I have located that particular graphic file and I've placed it in a directory where I normally keep or one of the directories where I normally keep my graphics that I'm going to use regularly. Now if I click right click on the graphic element here I get the opportunity to relink that graphic so I'll select that and I know for a fact because I can see the name here that the name is this one. So I open that up. The graphic comes back into the element box and the graphic is put back into the title. Now the next thing to do is to save this title and overwrite the title in the library that isn't behaving properly. Select project templates, my main title, and come down here and then say save the current title. Now if I call it the same name I believe that's correct and say OK. OK, that's something I haven't tried before. It's not letting me overwrite that particular title. So what I will have to do is to call it another name. Oh, two. Can't do that because there's another one there called O2, so I'll have to call it 3. Say OK. So that's put that there, and if I load that one in without the graphic, and then load that one in with the graphic. So I have to now delete this by right clicking on it and selecting delete. Prompts to confirm. So now I have the original title template 
but with the correct graphic applied. To summarise then, avoid problems with the link between templates in the library and their associated asset files by saving the asset files in a fixed location before importing them into a title that's destined for the library. I hope that's cleared the confusion. Until the next tutorial, bye for now.